It's the time of the unexpected, it's the time of the upsets, and I'm sure in the playoffs this year we're going to have our fair ration of upsets. it over the line, a pass to Russo. He shoots a hot one and a dazzling play by Glenn Hall. In front it goes to Dick Duff. He shoots, he scores. LaFleur coming out rather gingerly on the right side. He gives it into Lemaire. Back to LaFleur. He scores! The voice of Danny Gallivan, the unmistakable voice of Danny Gallivan, who from almost at this exact location broadcast Montreal Canadiens games for 32 glorious years. Danny Gallivan first came to Montreal to broadcast a hockey game in the late 1940s when he came with an amateur team from Halifax to broadcast a playoff game back to the home people. And a couple of years later, the Montreal broadcaster, Duck Smith, became ill and was unable to broadcast for a couple of games. And who do they get? How about that guy from the Maritimes? He was pretty good. So Daddy came and broadcast a couple of Canadians games, went back to Halifax. And then a year or so later, Doug Smith left the hockey broadcasting business. Now they're looking for a full-time replacement. And Danny Gallivan, thankfully, arrived on the scene to begin the 1952-53 season. And it was a job he held until he retired in 1984. 16 Stanley Cups for the home team during that particular time. Danny was Danny. He was unique. He had his own style. That's what makes the great ones great. That's what made Foster Hewitt great before him. Danny would be the first one to credit Foster for paving the way for the rest of us who followed. In the mid-1960s, I was privileged to move in beside Danny and become his color commentator. And I held that job for the last 17 years of his reign in the broadcast booth here at the Montreal Forum. I was very privileged indeed. I learned a lot from him, of course. You know, somebody asked me the other day, did you have a lot of meetings and all that? We never had a meeting. We never discussed how to broadcast a hockey game. Danny wouldn't want a two-minute meeting, never mind a two-hour meeting. It just seemed to fit. And what great players we had to broadcast. In Danny's case, he broadcast the Rocket and the great teams of the 50s. And then along came Jean Beliveau and Guy Lafleur and the visiting players like Bobby Hull and Gordy Howe. So Danny Gallivan reigned supreme right here at the Montreal Forum. This is the approximate place where he was, and he was one of the Maritimes' best gifts to hockey fans from coast to coast in Canada. 32 years, and what a 32 years it was for the great Danny Gallup. The game is over. Montreal wins the Stanley Cup.